kung nag-send sa iyo. Eh, nandito na nga. Are there questions? Uh, from Dennis of CBCD. Any insight about replacement theology? How do we view this? <clears throat> Will the charge leveled by some dispensationalists, especially John MacArthur, that saying that the church fulfills Israel is replacing Israel by another is a misunderstanding. It's not replacement, it's fulfillment. So we are not replacing Israel. We are saying that Israel, as a people of God, developed as God promised to Abraham to include all the families of the earth. You see, they don't see the expansion of God's promises. For example, the land. Now the promise is the whole earth. Ayaw pa nila nun. Gusto, hindi, gusto ko yung land ng Israel, land of Palestine. Eh, hindi nga eh. From the land of Palestine merely, the fulfillment now is the whole earth. We shall inherit the earth. Ayaw mo pa nun. So kasama ni Palestine doon. So ganun din sa Israel. Israel is not rejected and uh, Israel is not, God did not break any promise. The fulfillment will now be global. The Israel of God is the church, Galatians 6.16. 6, so to say that, oh, I insist that it must be fulfilled in the nation. When God is saying it is now fulfilled globally, so God is showing that because of Christ, the fulfillment expands even more broadly than the original promise. Mas ayaw pa nila. That is just... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just rejecting this idea of replacement theology. It's not replacement. It is expansion of, of hala hala. As a new student, student sir, pa discuss naman ng parts ng term paper. You know, historical documentation, meaning uh, what, doc, what uh, documents in history, what, uh, what historical facts should we know about your topic of choice? Uh, for example, you choose Cardinal Richelieu, which we just discussed, although restrained. So what are the facts about him? Biographically, historically, that's historical documentation. Now, if there is a biblical presentation, for example, his claims are biblically wrong, then show from the scriptures and then pastorally apply? What does it tell us of pastors who get involved in politics? So those are things that will be easy to develop. Bibliography, again, your references, five, three of which should be books, not just websites. Uh, Danny of TNC, can we attribute to churches wars the decline of Christianity in Europe? Well, that has a contributing factor because it led to disenchantment. Disenchantment on the part of the skeptics, the secularists. It gave credence to the argument of the skeptics that Christianity is just one of those religions that will uh, cause war. And that is not because it actually does, but because of the distortion by the people who sought. Christianity is just like the Jewish religion of the Old Testament. And I'm saying it is not. Other questions? Let's close in prayer. <clears throat>